Okay, guys, so I'm scratching my head here a little bit. So the mailman shows up today and hands me a box. Um, I thought, okay, that's funny. It must be chainsaw parts to have an order. So I thought, well, it's an awful short square box. I wonder what could be in there. It's so heavy. So I looked around. You guys can't see my address, but I looked. Looked and looked and looked. doesn't say what the contents are. So I thought, okay, I'll open her up and see what we got in there. And there's someone else's address on that, so I'm not going to show you that. This, I guess, they just put it in there for packing because I have no idea who the hell April Davis is. Sure as hell isn't me. Um, but there's a box of engines. I don't know who sent these to me or when or whatever. Maybe I talked to somebody about it and wanted them. I don't remember. If there's anyone in the comments that can tell me who the hell sent these, that'd be super cool because I don't remember. I don't know who sent them or do I have to pay you or what the hell is going on here? I have no idea. But uh, let's see what we got here. For fuck's sakes, focus. We got a torpedo 19. I wonder if it turns over. Oh, it kind of feels a little bit gritty. I won't turn it over too much. Nice big exhaust stack. That's pretty cool. <coughs> mm, smells good making buns over there. And we got... the hell is this? OS? What do we got? OS 10? I thought, holy shit, that's a tiny little motor. It's like the size of my MK17 almost. It looks like it's probably all gummed. Oh yeah, it doesn't turn at all. Let me get this guy apart on camera and make a nice little video about that. Oh, the carburetor works. Okay, and... What the hell engine is this? Looks like it's got an airplane carburetor on it or something strange. It's like one of those really weird old Kyosha motors. I have no idea. GS? GS what? Japan? You know, it's got that three-legged weird setup that Kyosho does, but I'm guessing this is probably for a Kyosho or something. Want to turn over? Uh, nope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. That's like a threaded little pilot shaft. That's different. Never seen that before. I'm really confused here, guys. I have no idea who the hell sent these to me. I'm going to look on the box here again and read that. Well, whoever it is knows my address and got all my information correct, so whoever it is, thank you very much. Um, does it say what state it's from? Uh, Yukon. Oh, there is a name on here. Well, um, Thomas, uh, sorry if I don't know if you want your name mentioned or not. I'm not going to mention your last, but uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That's like super friggin' cool. I'm not sure if we've talked before or maybe I said that I wanted them or I can't remember. But um, yeah, I'm a little bit confused <laughs> anyways. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll tear into some of these here and make a little bit of content out of that. And see if we can get this little OS, and I'm not going to start this thing around here, because these are loud as hell. Absolutely obnoxious. Probably the loudest thing you'll ever hear in your life. But, uh, and these, if you ever do come across these kind of engines like this, like the old McCoys or uh, torpedoes like this, 80-20 caster and methanol. Don't run RC car fuel in these. They won't handle it for very long. They'll freaking destroy themselves. And this guy right here is a plane bearing engine, so no ball bearings. But, uh, huh, yeah, really freaking cool, man. I, I really appreciate it, Thomas. That's, that's freaking super, man. Really cool. Uh, I don't know if you have a YouTube channel or not, but if you do, um, next time I make a vid, I'll shout you out for sure. And uh, if you're in on Facebook or whatever, um, hit me up, because I'm freaking really confused about this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep on burning nitro out there. Cheers.